Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Prime. In the last episode, I don't even remember what we did last time. <laughs> I think we got, I think we got the plasma beam. I can't remember. We got items. We made progress. That's what <laughs> I know. <laughs> but um, that's about right. I think yeah, you're right. Yeah. I think we just got plasma, so now we're on our way back around to the phase on lines. But before so, we might as well get things. Yeah, there's a lot of things that we can get right now. I mean, I could have probably gotten this a long time ago, but we're here and we were here in Chozo anyway, so we're gonna go up to Chozo Ruins and just take care of things. Because there's a bean combo you can get, and there's a bunch of upgrades that you need later, like late game upgrades for. So. Yeah, you're at a point now where. Really, your only upgrade left to get is not going to really make much of a difference in a lot of these areas for cleanup sake. So you can do a good yeah. majority of your cleanup now. Yeah, so I just figured since we're here already, we're just going to go ahead and do it. I thought the door gods were going to say no to you for a second. Well, they they, they yeah. can do that. The game's loading could be weird with doors. You can open it, walk in front of it, and it immediately shuts. Just be thankful I'm not playing the GameCube version. Sometimes those doors just take forever to load. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, the GameCube's disc reader was, it was fine, but it, it shows its age more now than some games. It takes a little bit longer to load. Yeah. Look at these enemies here. Look at these beetles. I, I couldn't do less of them before. Yeah, I see. <laughs> it took us a little bit to kill them back, back in the day. Now, now it's just like one shot. Boom, they're dead. Yeah. Plaza Beam is definitely the strongest out of the four, but as big as weakness as its range is not great. So you got to be kind of close up for most of Plaza Beam's usage. Yeah, and sometimes whenever you get a fully powered up charge shot, it just you know completely incinerates that impo like enemy like I showed with that that beetle the 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 shield beetle whatever it's called like any room. Yeah, my, my favorite are the flying space pirates because they immediately disintegrate but still fall to the ground. Yeah. So before they can hit no. the ground, their bodies do disappear, but it's torture on the way down. It'll be like past my people. You have a visor. Now. The door is you also know. unlocked. There you, go. you don't even need to fight yeah. these guys. I don't even need to fight these guys. I don't even know why I am. I'm just sitting here I'm like, dude, you have you just got the extra advice on the long time. Just freaking use the thing. Yeah, these Chozo ghosts are kind of like, once you get an X-ray visor, it's just like, they're really not that bad. I don't, I, maybe it's just me. I don't understand why people don't like these guys that much. I'm like, dude, they, they literally like take a super missile to kill. I, I think the bigger problem is before you get x-ray, just because they're a pain to track down for the most part. But, yeah, once you get x-ray, they're really not much of a problem. The Dark Commandos yeah. in Prime 2, on the other hand, that's a whole different argument. They're the same thing, but worse. The Commandos aren't that bad. You charge Dark Beam and then I mean, yeah, missile. you can at least freeze them with that, but they're harder to track in comparison. Yeah. You really need that Dark Pricer to keep up with them. Yeah, you kind of do. Anyways, in here is a, a secret room. Now, you have to have spider ball, boost ball, and um, some other thing, and the way beam. So you can't even access this your first trip here. I mean, maybe your second trip you can come back and do this. But um, yeah, we're gonna come in here. I was decided to wait because there's also something else in here that we need the gravity suit for. So that's yeah. another reason why I waited. Better off just waiting until you have gravity yeah. to come here for that reason. Because honestly, to jump ahead a bit, the thing in this room is actually an upgrade, but it's an optional upgrade I really don't find much use for in this game. It, it has some, but not near, like, as much as, say, super missiles. Yeah. But this is the thing you need the gravity suit for. If you do this, you get another uh, Chozo artifact. So... We just might as well go get it since, you know, we're already here. I mean, we kind of need this to get to the ending. Yeah, it saved me a trip to come back from to Chozo Ruins. Anytime I don't have to go back to a place, I'm gonna take it, take the chance, really. It's so weird so. how the thing in this room you gotta do super elaborate puzzle for and has an optional item, but yet the thing required to beat the game is just open door underwater. I should probably flip flop know. these items. I'm not gonna lie. I know. Really, yeah, I do think that the game Chozo logic. <laughs> I do think that the Chozo artifact should have been the prize at the end here. Oh, you mean you did all that work for a prize that's not even worth it? 
Welcome to video games. I mean, yeah, the, right. the thing I'm gonna get is not really good. I mean, it, it has its uses, but it's not very good. Anyway, you gotta shoot these structure, these uh, pillar structures here and make the whole thing come down. I don't know how this is working because that building should just be like, oh, I'm gonna topple over and just crush everything underneath you yeah, right I now. Yeah, I mean, the first time you do that, it should just go sideways. But sure, let's go straight down three times. And also, there is a optional scan. I think these guys. I think are unless we we scan these guys before. I can't even remember if we did or not. These guys. I mean, these guys only really show up in this area of the game. It's just be specific because I think they're here, and then also in the room leading back up to. Oh. Uh, we we get one of the other chosen artifacts. Yeah, the one in the uh, flogger's room. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're in floggers, but I don't think... Well, in the path, but I don't think they're in an area you can scan. I think they're just slightly out of range. Yeah, I think that... Uh, um, The thing I'm look I'm thinking about is uh, these things right here. These puffers. Oh, yeah. These puffers. <laughs> it's like a, it's the, the same exact thing, but just a different type of puffer. So, yeah, new, new entry. I knew there was something in here I needed to scan. <laughs> so, yeah, it's the puffers. The puffers are only show up here in this room. So... Don't you love it when they just have a one-and-done enemy type just for a scan? <laughs> yeah, I don't... I, I love it to death. Thank goodness for, um... These freaking Wii controls. Making this part a little bit easier. Yeah. The problem is, if you try to lock on and all the creatures are around these pillars, you, yeah, you, good luck with that. You're gonna be fine with them instead, so... Free A makes this much better. And we get their optional thing. It's another su uh, missile upgrade, uh, super missile combo. It's the Wave Buster. Samus becomes a Ghost Buster. <laughs> I mean, actually, it, it, it can work on ghosts just poorly. Yeah. So basically, what this does is if I, I think I'll show it off, but if you charge your beam and push the missile button. Um, a little tractor beam comes out of Samus's gun and just like does multiple damage on enemies all the time and it just drains your missiles every time you do it. It's a waste of the missiles, honestly. Yeah, it's good against certain enemies. The big ones are the drone ones specifically because they're weak to wave beam anyway, so the wave buster just destroys them. But the problem is yeah. most enemies it's not as effective on. It uses so many missiles per minute anyway. It's just it's not that versatile it's helpful for final boss so if you want an easier time there maybe get it as well i just find it situational i i, I think it's situational too it's not something i want to sit down and waste like I, you know i i I'm, i advocate the super missile more than anything a lot because super missile is probably like the strongest thing in your arsenal and so convenient to use yeah but you know this is that the, the wave buster is just a waste of missiles. It just it literally like drains like not even like a full like a full second and just like a missile like it, one it's or like two, two to three a second. a second I think. Yeah, it's like one or two three missiles a second, and the longer you have it there, you're just depleted out of missiles. And to me, that's just a lot of wasted missiles. Yeah, I mean, hey, it could be worse. Could be the beam combo for the plasma beam. Yeah, it could be that too. Yeah, we'll get there. I think we're gonna be. Uh, I hate this. I hate. I hate when I just you know. I miss screw attack and prime too. Yeah. I really do. Screw attack. That side's been dead for years. <laughs> You're watching screw attack. But yeah, oh, yeah that, this... that's a platform that just does death battle, the only death battle. <laughs> yeah. Not an evolution. Anyways, this thing right here is Bendesium. So we gotta blow it up with a with a bomb, a po yeah, power bomb. We know the drill at this point with Bendesium stuff. Hey, it's two for one. Bomb and lore. Yeah, this has lore too. Four chores of lore. I think this one's a really hard to. This one can be missed really easily, because, I mean, unless you're going for all the upgrades, it's very situational. 
Yeah. Now, also, I didn't speaking of which, I think this room has like one of the easiest to miss upgrades. Yep. This one. This, this one. missile. I, oh, I hate this missile. When I did my Let's Play this game, I walked right past that thing. Yep. That, every that's time. Right. I had to go back and get it, but you know, it's it's it drives me nuts because it's so well 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 hidden. I mean, I'll give like, them props. Around. They did a good job hiding it. It's just. A little too well, because you wouldn't think in that set of bushes is a Morph Ball tunnel. It's very well covered up, and if you walk there, you still can't see it. You have to go to Morph Ball just to know it's there. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Blink. Was there a boss fight in this room? Um, <laughs> yeah. You could say that. More like just annoying ghosts. I mean, I could have used my, you know, newly acquired Ghost Buster tractor beam, but, eh. Super much better. Anyways, this puzzle is kind of annoying. Yeah, it's got a timer, and I think this timer is kind of strict. Yeah. Yeah. Like you have about, I'd like to say, six to seven seconds. It's not long. And you know, whenever I'm coming out of Morph Ball, and you know, <laughs> Wii controls be like, "Oh, where am I?" Yeah, that's about right too. <laughs> You're, you're probably better off going to the tunnel still in the Morph Ball and just jumping out of the half pipe. Alright, let's try this again. I unlocked the other one. There's another thing in this room that I just unlocked. Yeah, luckily that one's not timed. There we go. <laughs> now, the problem here, though, is if you have a. Uh, it's say something like a wafer controller in today's age where it has interference beyond belief and just randomly drops your inputs. Not saying from personal hey, experience. Oh. You have to do that whole puzzle again just to get back up there because the elevator only activates with that set switch. Oh, yeah. that's, that's stupid. Yeah. So hopefully you don't have a faulty controller. AKA, don't use wafers in today's age. Oh my gosh, everything causes interference with a wafer. <laughs> Turn on the <laughs> microwave and the controller disconnects. <laughs> Lester doesn't like the wave beam because it reminds him of the wave bird. Yeah, it's, it's like, oh man, I love that controller from back in the day. I cannot tell you how many times I use it nowadays on any system, and it just drops inputs like crazy. I can be like a centimeter away from the adapter, and it's like, what is this thing? I don't want to turn on. It, it just, By it's the way, very I, think, interference. I think if you scan that grapple point there, it says it can all be reached from the other side of that room. I think if you try hard enough, you can get it. Yeah, no, you can actually reach it from any side, technically, but you have to be close to it. it it's really hard to do, yeah. but it's possible. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just spinning I around think you put your circle. Wiimote down your leg. <laughs> <laughs> That's the classic, it's pointing off screen kind of circle. Yeah. I think I was trying to look at something. I'm trying to, like, plan my route out. But, yeah, I just... Uh, that, that grapple point, if you, like I said, if you scan it, it says, oh, you can't get to this one because it's too far away. You're going to have to go from the other side in order to get it. But, yeah, if you if you do a jump, a well-timed jump, you can get it. And now we're going to go back into, I do believe, the furnace room. I think that's where we're going. Yeah, because there are deck. some things there you can get now with power bombs. So you're gonna go there yeah. for one thing. I haven't imagined. I think that's. I'm trying to remember what else you still have to grab there. I think for the most part it's just a power bomb expansion thing. Yeah. I don't know why. Freaking. Why do the Chozo ghosts show up there? Yeah. That drives me nuts. I mean, they show up the most in this area, but it makes sense canonically. It it is kind of annoying after a while though. I think I'm heading back to the charge beam. Yeah, well, probably for gravity suit now. Going for that yeah. set missile. If not, then, yeah, it's probably for the other one. Yep, I'm going for the gravity suit one. Can I can I just say I like Samus' suit colors in this one? Oh, the, the gravity suit colors? Yeah. yeah. Gravity yeah, suit Yeah, I know. Colors. It's so great. Man, I would love for this suit to not exist in another game, just have a purple hue. <laughs> No, he's not. He's not bitter about other M. He's, he's not. <laughs> no, I don't understand why I did that. It was just a weird decision. Dude, I'm so glad that in like Samus Returns and Dread, 
that they gave her back her power gravity suit. Because, <laughs> by the way, if I had to pick a favorite gravity suit, probably Samus Returns gravity suit. Oh, yeah. Because that's when that they still had the bulky suit the design, since it's based off the Game Boy game they gave her the shoulder pads. Yeah. I'd probably say that one, Samus Returns gravity suit, is probably my favorite one. I don't know. It's just different than her usual, like, orange and tan suit. Yeah, the orange. The orange yeah. and yellow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's also nice now, like, starting with Fusion onwards in terms of the timeline, because only two games have done it. But the, the fusion suit and then, like, the dread suit you start off with in the beginning of dread, like, th those specific base suits, now they use blue instead. So you have a nice yeah. blue, you got your traditional orange, and then you have purple. So you have an upgrade path that actually changes color compared to light orange to dark orange in, like, every other game. Yeah. I'm kind of glad. Dude, dread dreads, the gravity suit's pretty cool. Yeah. Not gonna lie. I'm just so glad that they they didn't do other like I'm not not I'm not crapping on other M. But just I don't understand why they didn't give her the purple suit. Yeah, I mean she only had the one suit the whole time. Like when she didn't have the very suit active, it still had the very suit color scheme. And then when she gets gravity, it's just a purple hue around her suit. It, it's a weird design decision, but it is one that only was like a one-time thing. Oh yeah, it's right. Uh, they show up here too, because of course they do. <laughs> These ghosts are everywhere. I have to fight them because I have to fight them because you know I have to do something in here. Yeah, although doing this kind of reveals what already, because you're walking on nothing right now according to X-ray. Kind of yeah. spoils the puzzle a bit. Yeah, it did kind of spoil the puzzle a bit. Yeah, I, I scanned it just to show you. There's, there's been Desium here, so I can just blow it up and guess what? We're playing Tony Hawk again. We. You tell oh, you're not doing your popular. trick, you failed. I always love the, <laughs> doing my tricks with my 900 points. And then you do all that, but you barely miss on the land and then screw up the whole combo and land face first. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this part. I don't like this part. Yeah, what? camera here makes this really oh. awkward, because the controls keep on changing based on how you move. And I can tell yeah, someone yeah. struggle. <laughs> A lot. Yep. Uh, showing you how many times it, it took me to get over here. Yeah, now, that's also accurate. <laughs> you mind your own business, and then you just get yeeted off by an enemy. I just wanted to show you how many times it took me to get over here because it was annoying. <laughs> oh, worst part, in my opinion, that was the easier one. This yeah. one sucks. Like, the drop down is bad because you don't have a drop shadow here, so you can barely see where you're supposed to go. Yeah, take it slow and easy. I'm trying to kill those dudes first because I was like, I that don't want to auto. And that's why. Because it's so easy to fall off on your own. That guy's not having it. Yeah, he's not, I don't know why I'm not killing these dudes, but I, I killed the other one. I didn't have the process to kill the other one. I don't know why. He's like, oh, me and Samus is here. Oh, Samus, let me just go back around and around in circles like I do best. Oh, yeah, I hate this part, too, like, because you, you have no drop shadow. Yeah, it's like, you technically do have one, but it's the exact same color, basically, as the platform, so it might as well not exist. There we go. Oliver, yeah, yeah, I'll have missile tank. You're really yeah. not going to get that one unless you want 100%, because there are way better options for missiles. Game, why? Well, if you're playing Randomizer, that's a good place you can look. That's a check. There's like a couple checks in this room. And of course, again with the Chosen Ghost again, but then I again, makes sense. Me. <laughs> Allow me to enter. As Samus walks into the room, Chosen Ghost, allow us to introduce, allow us to introduce ourselves. <laughs> Or do you like that I'm gonna let you continue, but first I gotta say something here. <laughs> About right, yep. Well, now that we have Plasma Beam, we can finally go and do that last little thing in this room. The first one was to reveal a passageway to the that continued forward. The second one led to an energy tank. This one is a, rather important, and you have to do this late game anyways. 
So, like I said, we're doing the most for cleanup and shows of ruins today because I just, since we're here, might yeah. as well, right? This is another one of those things you kind of need to do anyways because this yeah. leads to something required. As you can imagine by that, it's another artifact. Yep. As soon as Mr. Cho Bowling Chozo goes uh, moves out of the way, we can go down to that door, and that yeah, leads us he to. Wants to go bold. Why did they do this? You need the plasma bean to unlock an ice door. Why? Just <laughs> use, use a plasma door. <laughs> yeah, it would have been better if they used a. You know, I even highlighted plasma because I was like, oh, I make the. Oh, never mind. It's like <laughs> you know, you need you needed the beam, and then we like rolled it back. It's like that wasn't intended to be. Of ice section to begin with, or like unlocked with the plasma. It's it's weird. I think we're only missing one, two, three. Yeah, four, five, five more. Five, yeah, five more artifacts, and then we got all the artifacts in the game. Yeah, and you only have so, all the scans, so you're like ninety-two percent. You need more items and scans now. Yeah. Well, yeah that's how, at least in the good. prime games, you get a lot of your basic scans early on. So, mm -hmm. that percentage jumps in like the first hour or two. And now, I think we can try to make our trick back. I think we're done with Chozo Ruins now. I think we have officially gotten everything in, the, in this area, so... I think we're going to be heading back to Phase on Mines next time? If the yeah. door would load? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if we're allowed to actually leave. I think we're gonna actually go back to phase on mines now. So the next episode we're gonna do just that. So see you guys later. Or let me spin in circles first. <laughs>